Okay, the digital life hack, it just got better because coming up after it, hear one of the most engaging calls from my weekend show. It's called The Kim Commando Show. Yeah, funny how that works. Is your smart TV driving you nuts? You want to sit back and watch something, but it takes forever for you to load anything. It's tempting. Yeah, I know, to throw the remote. I'm Kim Commando for Here.com. If these words come out of your mouth, what'd you say? Get a free hearing evaluation right now at Here.com slash Kim. Now, before you break your TV in a fit of rage, I have three pro tips to get that TV back to speed. Number one, clear the cache. Just like your phone or computer, your TV stores temporary data. The more that builds up, the slower it gets. Head to your settings, find the cache, and clear it out. Next, get rid of those background apps. You likely didn't install them. They came with the TV. Those apps are sucking up memory and slowing everything down. Finally, update your TV software. If you've been ignoring your smart TV's updates, it could be costing you speed. And if all else fails, turn it on and off again. A hard reboot does wonders. Join almost 550,000 people every single day who get TechSmart with my free newsletter at GetKim.com. Hey there, tech lovers and wannabes. Want to stay ahead of the game? You've got to check out my YouTube channel. It's amazing. So many people are loving my new and improved channel. For starters, we've got fresh how-to videos every week, like how to block those super annoying political text messages, let important calls through even in do not disturb mode, and oh boy, watch out for sneaky QR codes that can actually brick your phone. It doesn't stop there. Join me for Kim Commando today, a fun podcast where we break down the latest tech news and trends. It's like talking tech with a friend, minus all the boring stuff. You'll get the latest tips and tricks to keep you in the know and have a little fun while doing it. Plus, who doesn't love being the tech-savvy one in the crowd? So head to youtube.com slash Kim Commando, hit subscribe, and make sure you never miss a new video or podcast. That's youtube.com slash Kim Commando. And when you're there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That's youtube.com slash Kim Commando, with a K, of course. And I'll see you on the video. All right, just as I promised, here's a fantastic call from my show that you've got to hear. Uh, Tim in Naperville, Illinois. Hi there, Tim. Hi, Kim. How are you? Great. How can I help you today, my man? Um, I have a question regarding some smishing text messages that I was getting on my Android Pixel 7 phone. Um, They were the classic USPS, you know, we have a package for you. Click here. Give us all your information. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) And I'm not... I'm a listener, so I'm not foolish enough to fall for that. But what was annoying to me was getting the, just the notify every day, because I try to limit how many notifies I get on my phone. Yeah, for and sure. The message would go to my spam folder. The number would be blocked, but every day I'd get a call from a different number in the same country code, which happened to be Thailand. I think it was country code 63. So what I wanted to do to put an end to this game of whack-a-mole that I was playing with all the different numbers was block the entire country code. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't figure out a way to do that on the Android Messages app. Um, Well, inside the Android Messages map is that you can go into settings. Uh, And then there's spam protection. Uh, then you can just follow the prompts to enable spam. I'm not sure if they let you block an entire country. For that, you you may need uh, in order to get like a third party app like uh, like Call Blocker or Hiya H I Y A. But I'm really surprised okay. that this is coming in on the Pixel Seven because boy, I'll tell you, they normally do a bang up job. Uh, they they correctly identify them as spam, mm-hmm. and they do go to my spam folder. But because it was a different number every day, I would get a notify every day. And it's just like a, well, I limit my notifies. I, I want, you know, to be notified for legitimate things that I need to pay attention to. But in this case, I trust the Android Messages app. They put them in the spam folder. I don't even want to know about those. Yeah, you know? I know. It's... Yeah, I know. I mean, you could also set up do not disturb mode, and this way it only allows messages from your contacts. Okay. Um, and, and that way it would prevent notifications from unknown numbers, so you wouldn't be so annoyed all the time. But, yeah, I mean, you know, you think, like, there would be a way for us to just, like, make this garbage stop already. I mean, I I, I can't tell you how many political messages I'm getting every day, and it's, it's oh. so annoying. 
I get those too. <laughs> they are annoying. It's like, oh, you know, so and so is this, so and so is this. I'm for this. I'm for that. I'm not for this. I'm not. I'm like, oh, geez, Louise. You know, but okay. you know, I guess that. Well, we are in election season, so there's really probably, hopefully, that'll go away after November. But again, in the Android app, they do a really good job. That's why I'm surprised. Uh, so again, go to messages, go to settings, then spam protection. Just follow the, the prompts. And if you can't block it by the country, then HIA, H-I-Y-A, or take a look at call blocker. And Tim, thank you for your call today. Hey, huge thanks for tuning in, folks. And if you've got a question that's burning a hole in your brain, just drop me a line. Head over to commando.com, with a K, of course, and tap email Kim. Yes, I do read every single question. Now, for tech insights you can't afford to miss, Grab my free daily newsletter over at getkim.com.